Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors got a brand new review. We're looking at the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian. It is the Mandalorian himself in his Beskar armor. Uh, this is VC-181. Uh, if I can get the light, I'll take a look at the back there. I'm hoping to have uh, the armor and Moff Gideon in the next couple of days. Um, and I'll be putting reviews up of them as soon as I can. So I'm uh, pretty excited about this one. Uh, this is almost like the precursor to the um, the one that's coming with the Razor Crest next year. Um, in about 10 or 11 months. Um, but that one's going to have a soft goods cape. Uh, this one doesn't have the swap out head either because um, there was another version that was just released it, for some reason it hasn't come out here anywhere in Australia um, if anyone has any tips on where I can pick one of those up uh, that is the one that came with the child most recently and uh, the swap out it was like they were calling it the vintage collection armor up pack but uh, nonetheless VC181 the Mandalorian let's crack him open and have a look all right and here he is straight out the gate I'm saying this is better than the Black Series version this is what the Black Series should have been in its six inch uh, version. It should have been equivalent to this. Um, they used too many repacked parts, not enough new um, not enough new tooling and stuff to make a figure like this. Um, obviously accessory wise, he does come with his uh, his pulse rifle, which, which is cool. I love that a lot. Still got the peg to go into his back. And he comes with his blaster pistol, which obviously fits in the working holster. So, so uh, let's get in nice and close with this guy. He's looking awesome. I just need to adjust my light a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, this the sculpt is fantastic. I love the sculpt of the helmet. Um, again, I've talked about it in pretty much every Mandalorian video I've done and it's that incline from the back of the helmet to the front which is super important for the look of the Mandalorians um, there were some six inch versions that literally it was like cut off straight and it just looked horrible but they've uh, they've absolutely nailed this one that looks fantastic he's got the jetpack included on the back here again with the cape at the same time that's what we're talking about this is what the black series should have been should have had that option so on the back there is a peg and it's a big chunky peg so it fits over the top of the cape and that is exactly what we're after hasbro thank you thank you thank you thank you uh, the peg hole little peg hole next to it will hold the rifle uh, so you can have the jetpackless alternative, and that looks like it sits in there pretty well. I dig that a lot. But yeah, that's absolutely fantastic. It's a nice long peg, so you've got a nice gap there so the cape can fit behind it. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Hasbro. You've absolutely nailed this. I wish you did this to the Black Series one, though. Um... I'm sure we're not done with uh, six inch black, six inch uh, Mandalorian figures though. Um, yeah, I just hope the next one shows some improvements. So sculpt wise, it's uh, yeah, it's really nice. I love the like almost full Beskar. Still needs to replace his uh, sort of hand guards there. And I did notice in the last episode, the tragedy, he has actually switched out that plate. Uh, for a part of uh, Zero, the droid that he has on board here, I pulled that apart and uh, exchanged the plate for a bit of the droid's uh, plating. See a nice detail on the legs, with the boots and all the straps and stuff. It's sort of ammo cartridges on the legs there. That looks great. It's a nice, nice, really nice silver look for the armor. Again, another thing that's slightly slightly is improved over the black series version there is a slight sheen to this it's a lot it's just really nice um got the mud horn there on the pauldron it's 
even even the jetpack appears to be a uh, while not the same sort of silver as that it's a little bit darker but even then it appears to be a little bit better this doesn't appear to be any uh, other weathering or detail paint on that but it's a nice jetpack nonetheless I'm just uh, trying to work out what's going on with the back of the belt here oh it's just a it's just a detail of a strap so I was just looking at this bit here wondering what was going on but that's all good looks good that's fine the cape sits nicely uh, I know on the first first Mando figure in the three and three quarter inch I actually glued it down to his neck so it sat on there nicely in the right spot but uh, this one looks pretty good uh, so I'm gonna leave that loose because uh, that fits pretty well but yeah jetpack underneath you know it beautiful absolutely stunning I love this figure I'm really stoked um, I have uh, another one on the way to keep carded so I don't often do that but I'm going to with with this one because uh, yeah I'm super duper impressed with this with this guy he looks absolutely fantastic I cannot wait for that razor crest even though it's blown up I think he's gonna get another one uh, they're like old war jeeps <laughs> in the in the Star Wars universe that's my theory um, but we'll see I'd love to hear what you think uh, drop a comment down below please give this video a thumbs up if you like the video um, I hope you did uh, if you've yet to subscribe please hit the subscribe button uh, make my day but yeah it's got all the good articulation as you can see if you're a, an action figure connoisseur like myself well, at least I see myself that way. You know what articulation looks like. I don't like um, going through that anymore these days. It's uh, it is what it is. So yeah. Anyways, I'll be back with some more videos very very soon. I do have a nice little backlog of videos to upload, so I look forward to dropping them over the next few days. So thanks for watching again, guys. Till next time. This is the way. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.